My name is Ross Dickerson. I'm from London, I'm 26 years old, and I made lifting a massive part of my life, and it will be forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> Well, I mean, I PT, all of my stuff's online. I run YouTube and social media, and I run my own business and things like that. So um, it's all fitness-based. My whole life is based around fitness. I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't know what to do without it. <laughs> I got into it when I was like 20 because I was living in America, then I moved to Cornwall, and then I moved here. And when I lived in Cornwall, I didn't have any fitness background or anything like that. And uh, when I moved here, I didn't know anyone, so I just joined the gym just to hopefully meet some friends or something like that. God, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully meet some people, whatever. And um, yeah, I've never really found anything that I've really enjoyed as much as that. You know, I got addicted from it from the age of like just turning 20. Once I found my love for it, that was it really. I didn't have many friends that even lifted. It was really just just me on my own, my headphones in, and I knew nothing about kind of the social media side of things or anything like that. It was just me on my own, headphones in. Just getting it done, you know, all my friends were doing other things, but I mean, that was the only thing I actually truly loved. It kind of gave me a bit of an escape from all this shit, from kind of moving out on my own and not really knowing anyone. It just gave me a place, a place to be on my own. So um, yeah, I got stuck into it then, and I kind of just slowly learned from there. You know, I never really went out my way to kind of, I don't know, find, I, should, I mean, I suppose I studied a little bit of information like that, but it was all about just trial and error to me and just getting it, Getting it done, it obviously took me a few years to get it right. And I get asked that a lot, like, who did I inspire to when I was younger? As I said, I was on my own headphones in, didn't really know anything about the scene of bodybuilding or anything like that. I just kind of worked it out on my own, so I didn't really aspire to be anybody. My motivation comes from deep within myself. You know, I don't go out there and look for motivation. I wake up with the motivation to do it. As I said, it is a love, not a chore. So when it's something like that, it doesn't become something that I need motivation for. Obviously, I have those shit days. Um, and you wouldn't be able to appreciate the good days without the shit days, you know what I mean? So obviously it's gotta be tough and you gotta ride it out, but I mean, that makes it all worth it in the end. Nothing easy um, is ever worth doing really, you know? So the struggle is all part of it. You gotta embrace that shit and yeah, enjoy it. I feel like the people like who are at the top of the thing, you know, like, or like yeah, in good shape and stuff like that, those are the people with the motivation, you know? And I mean, I, I don't go out there to look for the motivation. I kind of wake up with it because I love it. And it's as simple as that really. I wouldn't change a damn thing, you know what I mean? I would not be where I am without the past that I've been through. I mean, I would obviously love to change some stuff that I did, but there's no point changing them because then I wouldn't be in the position I am now. If I wasn't sat here right now doing this, then maybe I'd be contemplating my past, but because I'm sat here doing the things that I love, then I wouldn't change a damn thing. But I mean, yeah, you gotta take the good with the bad. I get asked all the time, how do you make it into the industry? How do you do that? And I believe it. Um, just go out your way for others, you know, and I mean, you obviously got to have someone about you, you got to be different, you can't kind of go out there and just be an ordinary person, you got to have someone about you, you know, you got to be, I don't know, willing to have people love you, but you also got to be willing to have the people that hate you at the same time, you know, it can all be good, you got to take the bad with the good, like I said. I mean, I started out by literally going to a fitness event and getting a bit noticed because I was lean, and then from there, it's not like it just blew up for me, you know, I went out my way and I was on social media grinding away, Telling everybody, like telling everybody what I knew for nothing, you know what I mean? I was like helping everybody, answering questions on Twitter, like writing workouts for people. And just from then, people will gain your respect because at the end of the day, respect is the most important thing. Respect will take you further in life than anything else. So it's all about the love and the respect, and that's what means the most to me.
obviously the start of the morning is always the hardest people, unless you're one of these crazy ass people that can just wake up and be like, boom, starting the day. But that isn't the majority of people. I mean, when you wake up is key. The, the, the beginning to your day is everything, you know? And, um, I wake up and I know that I'm gonna go to bed 10 times more satisfied if I've been productive. I feel like shit if I haven't done anything with my day, you know? So it's all about getting up, making the most of that day to the fullest, and then you'll sleep better and you'll be 10 times more motivated. You gotta wake up with the intention of getting something. Yes, you're gonna struggle, but you gotta fight that first little bit. It's always that little bitch voice. You gotta get over at the beginning, you know? And once you fight through that little bitch voice, um, everything will fall into place 10 times more. It's all about a productive day is a good day, and that is what you need to wake up thinking every day. So it's so easy for us to like think, oh, we, we're only gonna live once. And it's so easy to think that thought for 20 seconds, you know, and actually think, oh yeah, I'm only gonna live once, you know, and I've gotta make the most of the day. But then 99.9% .9 of us, that 20 seconds, and it's over and you're living back to your routine. What you need to do is start actually realizing that this is a fact that you have to deal with and this is something that is gonna pass you by and you don't want that shit. You don't wanna look back in, in your life and be like, oh, I wish I did this. You know, you wanna look back and be like, I fucking did that, you know what I mean? And that's, that's what counts the most. You know, you gotta wake up with that thought more often than that 20 seconds. And once you do that, then you're gonna be smashing it every fucking day.